Good morning, my dear kids. Uh, I'm Sridhar, your physics teacher. In today's class, in the chapter vectors, we are going to discuss the dot product <laughs> and the cross product and the scalar triple product. Th these are some very good application oriented mathematical tools like how we had uh, in the calculus, the differentiation and integration we have seen. You know, similar to that is what you can see this uh, use of these tools. Hmm? It's almost like in every chapter of physics, will be very frequently using this one. So uh, again, once again, rather than something dumping numericals, what it is, what is the significance of it and how to use it. So if you can think in that aspect, I think the coming chapters definitely will be very, very safer side. Hmm? Okay, by this time, I think uh, you might have come across uh, like the map basics of mass we have completed then there's the last phase last leg of the vectors what we have in the coming classes we are going to shut the kinematics whether you can see the the real physics will gradually start thinking so some have sent me <coughs> messages like sir how to use your app uh, like because you have given so many videos in that uh, like almost uh, is, is around 1,200 hours of videos are available. So 1,200 hours means almost per day, two hours will take. So 365 into two, 700 hours. So almost per day, three hours is what? Yeah, that's what the course of physics, the JE advanced or JE mains or the NEAT, when you go for it, no? uh, it's like a full fledged two, two years is what the course will run. In that, uh, so definitely I think the minimum two hours or the two and a half hours you have to spend every day <coughs> for the preparation for mains and advance and the NEAT. And every day you can watch one video, then corresponding that nodes will be there. You also prepare your own nodes. Uh, then DPPs will be the exercises will be there, work out that. Then if any test available, go for test, watch animations. Then along with that, there are very good test books available in market. So uh, take that uh, numerical, take any one reference textbook, start solving. So the more and more numericals you solve, think on them, the more clarity will come. There's a one methodology of physics, like reading theory, then solved example, then unsolved, then going for a higher level, then appear for test, check yourself, what is the level, then what went wrong, again set right. So it's like a gradually you'll start improving. And the aspect is more about like the numerical solving ability. I think that's what I'm going to stress in the coming chapters. Hmm. So there's nothing called like here, <coughs> some magic formula like means, okay, if you do like this, okay, you'll get it answer. Okay, there's a formula apply, you'll get, you go and do all the problems. If that is the case, then science and technology, everyone would have mastered it. So it's a really, we have to put a lot of effort there'll be a lot of hard work will be there, a lot of patience you needed, you have to analyze a lot, you have to think a lot, uh, there'll be a lot of difficulties you face, this is what happens, this is the nature of science itself. Is it nature is that simple? No, nature is very complicated. We have to put effort to understand and the physics is what about the study of the surrounding world, objects around us, so definitely, is it easy subject or is it tough subject? It all depends upon the observer. If you make good observation, very easy. If you are not good observer, very difficult. And moreover, the interest should be there. Uh, some students will ask, sir, why we should study? See, the uh, numericals or say what all this basic science is there. This is the thing which will help you a lot when you go for the research or when you do any job, particularly related to the the science and technology. So oh, these are the, all the basic fundamentals which will help you a lot to grow further. And you see every day you are reading some concept theory, then you are doing numericals. What will, what is the advantage of it? Okay? <laughs> you are training up your brain to think scientifically. The, 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 the best thing is what happening for you. Say, I, I'm not bothered whether like a, uh, sir, I prepared, I didn't get a rank. Okay, no problem. So I really put effort, but somehow I could not manage an exam. No problem. Already I acquired a very good thinking brain. That is enough for you to do better in life. So this is not just like only exam here. 
it's not only about the rank getting rank it's all about the enhancement of your thinking ability that's what as, as every teacher is trying not only me the every teacher will insist you that not just mere numerical following how that answer came ah, okay some of it came no that is not the that is not the thing what we are supposed to teach and you are supposed to learn what is the reason why it came why only like this this analysis is what you have to do it you do few problems but understand them think them analyze them compare them this is like a thinking scientifically so there is in science and technology there are no shortcuts there are no tricks nothing none of them will work out so will you get the vaccine for covid shortcut not possible no lot of effort i think definitely from here it may take another one year to get a vaccine now to this is 2020 we are in the month of uh, may or uh, we are in the month of june so expected vaccine is minimum another one year it will take so is there any shortcut in the science and technology not there no so don't insist on some sort of like a formula wise learning either you are going to become doctor engineer or any good research scientist hmm? so that formula based analysis formula based preparation will not help you everything should be scientifically done so can you do operation surgery in the shortcut method being a doctor not advisable no the same thing so let the scientific method let it develop from this class 11 to 12 only okay because you want to become a very good uh, like a research doctor research engineer research scientist so let's acquire that scientific skills from now only what are scientific skills means like just follow the rules and regulations provided by the science what are the rules uh, have interest interest in learning make observation <coughs> do analysis do compare finish your there nothing big no no rocket technology here okay i'll try my level best to impart that uh, scientific temper for the students hmm? I, i i do i feel very happy when you get a good rank but i'll be really very 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 happy when you get a good rank along with good knowledge means you should have a knowledge come rank both are needed mere knowledge again it takes lot of time to for you to come up so knowledge come plus rank okay this is our target is what i i feel like so definitely will be on safer side in all sense so what will be the you may be taking my help a lot that one i think everyone would have uh, now maybe there's a lockdown so when the college reopens again you go back to the college your teacher will be teaching every teacher comes with his own method so there's nothing called like a good teacher bad teacher i feel everyone is having his own methodology to express the physics so i think comparison also you try to avoid what best you will get from all the teachers that's all <laughs> so that teacher has taught this this teacher has taught this okay what lessons you are going to listen what best you can get from that <coughs> you should be of that mindset yes thought less yes thought more no yes thought less okay in that less thought also there is something useful no use it this this what the if you are a very good student no so what you do is like a where all good is there you are going to absorb it and you are going to utilize it you are never going to complain that this is of that this is of that so i felt like uh, almost this is our uh, so I, i think around some 15th day we are interacting so i felt okay something let's talk some uh, regarding the mindset of students like a what has to be done how they have to prepare gradually as we go okay i'll try to talk something about the preparation also hmm. not interested you can slide you have options in the recording <laughs> there's no need to that you must listen this lecture it's not offline class where you should listen okay uh, this there's uh, okay there's a speech i don't like just slide it in the recording there'll be sufficient hmm. okay we'll move forward hmm. uh, we'll i'll start the class now uh, today we are going to start the dot product and cross product we'll see that how what is you what is use of it how how it how it is going to help us a lot uh, okay kids like uh, <coughs> today's class in the vectors we are going to discuss the dot and cross product okay i just put some red dot and the cross mark uh, dot and cross product of vectors and also scalar triple product hmm? 
So we'll study all these particular three tools. Uh, again, I'm I, I always using word what like mathematical, so like a mathematical tools here. Why means there's something which will help us at, in most of the our physics topics. This is also one of the tools we are going to learn. Let me switch off myself, my video. Oh, then <coughs> dot product. Okay, now what is the necessity of dot product? Why we are studying sir, this one? Uh, okay, now now go back to resolution of vectors. If you can remember, uh, what is that resolution of vector? What was the okay? Now the first tool is dot product of dot product of vectors. Huh? This will be our topic. Then. Uh, a bar dot B bar, this, this is the dot is equal to A B mod of A bar mod of B bar cos theta. What is theta? Theta is angle between vectors. Theta is angle between the vectors a bar and B bar. Now, what is A bar? A bar is a vector. B bar is a vector. A scalar, B scalar, cos theta scalar. So dot product of two vectors will, will be a scalar only. This is a vector. This is a vector. Scalar. This is scalar. So what is the conclusion I can make it? dot product of two vectors will be a scalar. Dot product of two vectors will be a scalar quantity. Okay, now uh, what is the th theta is the angle between them? What is use of this? So what, what is the meaning of this? What you are doing there? Okay, let's begin with the, the diagram I take approach. Let, let's see through the diagram. We'll under diagram. So this is the vector A bar is there. And there's another vector B bar. Then the angle between the vectors. So here is from here, I'll start it. This is theta, this one. And this is theta equal to zero degree line. Our, this is the vector A bar. This is a vector B bar. <coughs> then uh, what will be the angle between? So what is that uh, A, B cos theta? A is what magnitude of vector A bar? And B cos theta, it will become component. If you can remember, I, I want you to go back to the vectors. We, I think everyone is very good in so if I resolve this let me there's a base diagram let me take it another one now now what we do is like we'll just resolve this Re resolve of what I'm going to break up the vector say part of <coughs> a part of vector will be along i'll show by thick line oh. what is that thick line i'm putting so that that is equal to b cos theta this will be very interesting. You have to just make observation of diagram, not just remember formula. Then other, it's other component. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll bring other colors. Uh, it'll be uh, some contrast colors. Yeah. So this is B cos theta. Then
the magnitude need not be same. So what are that yellow color and blue color lines? We have brought it. Okay, they, they will become component of vectors here. So how much this component, this will become B cos theta. You know, resolution of vectors means so what we are going to do is like, <coughs> I'll take this vector. Uh, where was the colors? The color was. This was the vector, no? So what we did, a component of that is what B cos theta. Then similarly, I'll, I'll resolve it. A component of that is what B sin theta. See, B is having some length, B sin theta. Sin theta will be less than one. So definitely I should say B sin theta will be less than B. The length of this vector, the length of the vector is B. B bar is B. Then the B sin theta should be less. So it's what I'm showing it. So what is this component should be B sin theta. What about this component should be B cos theta. So this will become B sin theta. So what is that B sin theta? Will it be the rectangular comp B, B sin theta, B cos theta. They are the rectangular components of B and of B vector B bar. Um, B cos theta in what direction? It is along A bar. So what do that B cos theta in the vector dot product? It will be a like component of B bar along A bar. So what we are going to do is like, what, what is this dot product? Shall I put in a simple way? Earlier <coughs> in the resolution of vectors, we were able to resolve the components of vector along rectangular coordinate axis. In the dot product, we can resolve a component of vector along other vector. I think this is the core uh, fundamental thing. In resolution of vectors, in in resolution of vectors, the vector is resolved such that its components it's rectangular <coughs> such that it's rectangular components are along rectangular coordinate axis. That, that's what, no? So you take a vector A bar, a component of that along X axis, along Y axis, along that X axis, or in a plane, along X, along, they're called rectangular. This is what happened. Now, now what we are going to do, I'm going to resolve a vector such that it's one of the component will be along vector A bar, other will be perpendicular to that. Okay, I'm not bothered this B sine theta, I'm bothered about this B cos theta. So what is the use of this? So what is the component of vector B bar along A bar? It is B cos. Can we find out that? Yes, that's what the formula says. So therefore now, uh, what, what you can write looking at this diagram, we know A bar dot B bar equal to A B. I, I, instead of writing mod of A bar, mod of B bar, let me write only A B. I, I know uh, it, the scientific notation is mod of A bar I should write. So to <laughs> avoid all that one scribbling everything, I'm just writing A, B. A, A, A and B are what? Magnitude of A bar and B bar. Let me write that. I think that will be, we will be on safer side. A is magnitude of A bar. B is magnitude of B bar. So now B cos theta is what? Okay, there's a one very good formula has come, no? So what, what you should call B cos theta? Component of B bar <coughs> along A bar. I think this is very, very beautiful formula, no? Like uh, what is the component of vector B bar along A bar? A bar dot B bar by A. We should know what is that dot product out to find out. That, that will explore with the help of unit vectors. But this is the basic idea, no? Similarly, can we calculate component of A bar along B bar? Yes, we can do that also. Let me pick up the same.
I think I have place here. Let me try. Yeah, I guess I can accommodate here. No, no. What we are trying to do is like we are okay. I'll go to the next page. Okay, now I'm going to break up this. I'm going to resolve A bar along B bar. Okay, this, in that case, I'll define this as theta theta. And let this be the theta equal to zero degree line. So component of A bar, I, I took yellow. Yeah, that's some other colors will take it. Component of A bar along that. And the <coughs> other component perpendicular to it. So what is this? This length A cos theta. This length A sin theta. Now, can you find out component of A bar along B bar? So what we what, what actually we did? Hi, this is a vector. A component of that horizontal component, better you can call it, will be along B bar, no? And and a component of that will be perpendicular to B bar. So how to find out a component of A bar along vector B bar? This A cos theta is what I want. Uh, sir, why you are not showing arrow for this? Because I think A cos theta is the magnitude. So it will not have a direction. Then how to calculate this one? So this will be, we know A bar dot B bar equal to AB cos theta. This we will rearrange. Now A cos theta. A bar dot B bar by B. So what is A cost of component of A along B bar? Component of A bar along B bar. Very nice formula, no? It is, sir, how do you, can you find out A sin theta? Yes, I know. I can find out A sin theta, but, but let me discuss more focus on this one. So what is component of vector A bar along B bar? So what is the dot product? So shall we conclude here using dot product? The first important thing with dot product. I can find out with dot product. I can find component of one vector along other vector. Hope everyone is able to, so what is A cos theta? Component of A bar along B bar. What is A sin theta? Component of A bar perpendicular to B bar, which I'm not much interested time being. Can we find out? We know A cos theta, we can find out that also. Later in the numericals, I'll, I'll focus on that. So th th there's a main purpose of this one. If a vector lies in a plane, <laughs> how to find out its component along rectangular coordinate axis that you know, resolution of vectors. Here about component of one vector along other vector, how to find out. The, the dot product will help us. So there's a first aspect, I'll, I'll put number one. Okay, the second thing, can I use this to find out the angle between vectors? A, 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 A bar dot B bar equal to A B cos theta. So what is theta now? Angle between vectors A bar B bar. Angle between vectors A bar and B bar. Okay, no, so theta is the angle between vectors A bar and B bar here. So if I know vector A bar, B bar, their magnitude, I know I can get the angle between vectors. I think this is one of the best formula again. <laughs> very, very helpful for us at many places. Okay, these are the primary things. Okay, next again, <laughs> if theta equal to 90 degrees, let's see what will happen. There's a third thing which are, I think, very, very, very important, essential one. I'm just highlighting it. What is the use of them? For what purpose we are going to use? That is what I'm trying to stress here. Then if theta 90 degrees,
theta 90 degrees means a bar perpendicular to b bar if a bar perpendicular to b bar so what will be the dot product cos 90 so cos 90 should be zero Oh, this is something very, very, very useful. No, if two vectors are perpendicular, their dot product must be zero is filling. Are you sure, sir? Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm sure I'll give examples. So what are the examples? <coughs> let, let me take the rectangular coordinate axis. This will be the x axis, y axis, z axis. Then unit vectors, go back to unit vector. The unit vector here will be i cap, j cap, k cap. These are the unit vectors. So they are, they are along x, y, z axis. These are unit vectors. Now, uh, how, how, what is the angle between them? 90 90 because they'll be perpendicular no mutually perpendicular okay let's do one thing we'll use this check it high dot j will verify i'll start with the this one i dot j cap So I dot J cap, uh, what is the A bar dot B bar formula? This will be magnitude of I cap. This will be J cap into cos of 90, no angle between I cap and J cap is 90. Then this will be one, no doubt. This will be one, this will be zero. So therefore, is it justified if two vectors are perpendicular their dot product must be zero so i dot j i dot j have to be zero similarly we'll take the j dot k i dot j or j dot i both are same let, let me go for the next one and j dot k mod of k cap cos 90. So this should be equal to magnitude of unit vector should be one, one, and I'll better write cos 90 will be zero. K dot I will see the last one. k cap dot i cap mod of k cap mod of i cap cos 90 this should be one one zero this will be zero now so something very important data is what we have brought it means like a j dot i also s in fact j dot i also we can make it zero the same formula even k dot j even i dot k okay got it all of you so th th these are the some relation between that one so if two vectors are perpendicular then <coughs> the dot product must be zero is what we are concluding I think this is something very fundamental one, which is going to help us a lot. If two vectors I think I'll, I'll, I'll skip this. Let me bring the old data to the next page.
if two vectors are perpendicular then their dot products must be zero dot product of those vectors must be zero okay there's a thing what we can conclude for the dot product okay now now we'll go for some laws here some commutative law associative law all those uh, ideas will will check with this okay i think once again i'll take you back we can this all a bar along b bar or b bar along b bar Okay, these are three fundamental things. So in the next few few more. I know a bar dot b bar is it equal to b bar dot a bar? Uh, now, if two vectors are permanent, then the dot products of those two vectors must be zero. Okay, there's a one more third point. What we have concluded. Let's go for uh, if a bar dot b bar. I have like this. i'm going to say b bar it is equal to b bar dot a bar any reason for that so let's see that ab cos theta or this will become ba cos theta i think both are equal no so whether you write a bar dot b bar or b bar dot a bar no problem both are same is what telling this is called like a commutative property So the next after this, we'll go for the <coughs> distributive property. <coughs> okay, what is the distributive property? What is it like? Okay, if there are a bar dot, what we can write it as? So if I can expand a bar dot b bar. Plus a bar dot c bar. How 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 come sir they are equal? Okay, we'll do one thing. B bar plus c bar is some vector, no? So definitely there is some angle between them. And similarly, a bar dot b bar and c bar, there are two vectors are there. B bar and c bar are two vectors, and a bar is some some angle. With the tent of b bar, c bar will be somewhere here in this region. Now take a bar dot r one bar. You'll get the same answer. Or else, what you can do? First, you take a bar dot b bar. Then you take a bar c bar. Then you take the resultant of that. You'll get the same answer. Okay, this I think I'll explain very clearly through diagram rather than only dumping one statement. That will not that will not be correct. First, we'll do one thing. Uh, a bar dot b bar. There's a vector. Three vectors are there. There's a vector. Uh, this one. There's a vector b bar. There's a vector c bar. Uh, and the vector a bar is other color. I'll pick up. I have color option. Very few color options are there with me. Okay, let, let me use. Yeah. One longer, shorter. We say this is a bar. Sorry, this is a bar. <coughs> this be b bar. This is c bar. We we know from vector shifting property. What we are going to uh, I I am going to distributive property is what I am trying to show it here. And the distributive property is what we are trying to explore it. Clone. Okay, here you can see now, b bar plus c bar. Where the b bar plus c bar? If I shift it, then this will be some intermediate resultant will come. So what is this? This will be R one bar. Now for this R one bar, a bar dot R one bar, I'll take 
the dot product. I'll get a some scalar. I'll get it as some some scalar. Huh? So that scalar should be equal to the operation what I'm going to do with this one. Now a bar dot b bar will see this first first resultant of a bar dot b bar. I, I'll come to this side. A bar dot b bar. This is time being not needed. I'm going to shift this. A bar dot B bar or B bar dot A bar, a a anything, anything. So let me shift B bar here. Okay, this is the this is a, a bar, this is a B bar. Ah, sir, what is the angle? Okay, I, oh, oh, fine, fine, fine. Yes, yes, sir. Dot product is what I should do. No? Uh, a bar dot B bar will get some scalar. Similarly, a bar dot c bar, that also will get some scalar. I'll, I'll take only these two. Then if I take some of those two, because definitely scalar only. So, so like, can you show that direction? So here, uh, a, 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 b cos theta or component of a along that. So here, what we do is, uh, th this will be very interesting if you explore, explore through diagrams uh, rather than Mere writing equation, no, they'll not help you. Uh, let me do one thing, a bar dot b bar. Shall we go for a cos theta along b? This is vector b bar. This is a cos theta. So a cos theta into b is what? One component. Similarly, <coughs> a dot c that one. So let me again explore for component of a along, along c. So some other value. Now angle between A and C are different. So here this will be theta one. This will be how much? A cos theta one. Now when I add up these two, you are going to get the same answer is what is telling. Means A cos theta one plus A cos theta two. If you add up, you're going to get same answer. So how it is possible? How it is possible? So this, shall we say that angle between A bar and B bar is theta one? Angle between A bar and C bar is theta 2. Keep this. So this will become A, B, A cos theta 1 into B. Uh, here it will be A cos, uh -huh, symbol, symbols. Mm. Now A cos theta 2 into B. Sorry, into C. Dot product of a bar dot c bar, what you write a cos theta. A bar, what is the angle between a bar, b bar? It is theta one. Angle between a bar and c bar, it is theta two. I, I'll define that angle also. C bar, angle between a bar, c bar is theta two. Angle between angle between a bar and b bar is theta one. So A, A, I'll take outside. So B cos theta one plus C cos theta two. Okay, this much is there. Now let's come for this one. B bar plus C bar. The resultant of that B bar plus C bar. So what is the angle between B bar and C bar? It is theta, <coughs> theta two minus theta one, no? It's theta two minus theta one. Everything we have to fight with the diagram. Then I'll get one vector R1 bar. Okay, yeah, it is here. Now this is the angle alpha. Now what is this angle between them? A bar and R1 bar. Definitely it should be theta one minus alpha. Let's let's see that. So here angle A bar, B bar plus C bar. Here only let me write it. B bar plus C bar equal to R1. What is alpha? Again, we have to expand. What is alpha? Alpha will be tan alpha will be. Tan alpha will be C sine. Angle between B and C. Is theta 2 minus theta 1. No? 
साइन ऑफ टीटा वन माइनस टीटा टू बाय बी प्लस कॉस ऑफ टीटा वन माइनस टीटा टू नो बी बार प्लस सी बार वेक्टर इज इक्वल टू आर वन बार नो विल टेक द डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ व्हाट इज एंगल बिटवीन ए बार एंड आर वन बार because b bar plus c bar is what r1 bar so now the next we'll go for the next expansion is a bar dot r1 bar so what is a bar dot r1 bar it should be equal to a r1 cos of what is the angle between this will be theta 1 minus alpha what is the magnitude of r1 magnitude of r1 you have to go into write b square C square two BC angle between B bar C bar is cos of theta one minus theta two. Things are not that easier. All, all these things uh, we are just write some law, a distributive law, commutative law that they have some significance. Okay, we have ended up something like this R one tan alpha one. Now, what we have to do? What is value of R one? Substitute there. Finally, what we are supposed to calculate? What is R one bar? R one bar is B bar plus C bar. No. Finally, it should be equal to this one. The expansion of this A B cos theta one plus A C cos theta two. Let's try that. A bar dot B bar plus C bar. That R one bar is equal to. Now this will become a r one. Now what is, what is this expansion of this cos theta one cos alpha plus sine theta one plus sine alpha? This will become a r one cos theta one cos alpha plus a r one sine theta one sine alpha. Uh, r one is equal to again you have to substitute that. What is alpha? Tan alpha is this one. <coughs> Sine alpha is needed. Tan alpha is this. So uh, the, the in place of we know tan alpha is equal to this much. Can we write tan alpha as sin alpha by cos alpha? So what is sin alpha equal to? C sin theta one minus one two. And what is cos alpha is equal to B plus cos theta one. That you substitute. Again R one equal to this much. Solve it. Finally you'll get the the same simplification. It's a very lengthy one. I, I think I can write it here. So be better we'll take a r one outside one. I'll, I'll bring later on. Okay, now r one will substitute. R one is b square plus c square two b c cos theta one minus cos theta two cos theta one cos alpha cos alpha will be b plus cos theta one minus cos theta two. Here, tan alpha sine alpha by cos alpha. Therefore, what is sine alpha? C sine theta one minus theta two. What is cos alpha? B plus cos uh, something is missing. B plus C. B plus. so again cos alpha sin alpha replace with that in all the where all the equations you see solve it you are going to get the same answer how much it is finally equal to this much this we have to simplify i think will be very lengthy and challenging Sine theta one, uh, sine alpha will be c sine the the this is a bracket. Now this we have to expand further. <coughs> R one is the magnitude, so finally I think everything is the scalar only. This is b bar plus c bar is angle between R one bar is tan alpha. That alpha is unknown thing. Again, we can admit that. So theta one minus theta two is what I think primary. From there it has come. So this, if you solve, 
this will become equal to how much a b cos theta one means it will be plus a c cos theta two and finally it will be equal to a b cos theta one so therefore a bar dot b bar plus c bar uh, this i have don't have patience you have to work out it will come really huh? trigonometry if you solve it i know so it will it will do come okay this is a thing that one so there's a distributive property that pro properties are not that uh, simply just uh, dumping equation ah distributive property not only for this even for subtraction also we can do it this will be a bar dot b bar minus c bar this will become a bar dot b bar okay this also comes under distributive property next we have if suppose say the vectors a bar and b bar i'll multiply by a scalar then it will become this will become associative property <coughs> alpha a bar what are alpha beta alpha beta scalars constants some some scalars or, or you can write scalar or some constant then it will become alpha beta ab cos theta okay the perpendicular we have shown okay let's come once again for okay th these are some properties which will help us a lot okay now after this <coughs> we'll explore last few more properties are there You know, now once again i'll go back to that unit vectors uh, here finally we'll we'll have some small conclusion on this thing suppose there is a rectangular coordinate system this is x axis this is y axis z axis this will be i cap j cap This will be k cap. These are the vectors are there. We know already. This is the same diagram. The it's a mutually perpendicular. All these axes. Then high dot i, high dot j, or j dot i must be zero, no? Because they are perpendicular. Similarly, j dot k or k dot j it should be equal to zero then k dot i or i dot k it should also be equal to zero because the vectors are mutually perpendicular to each other then what about i dot i i think we didn't verify no Let, let's see that magnitude of i cap magnitude of i cap what is the angle between i dot i will be cos zero This should be equal to one, one, one. So what is i dot i? Will be one. J dot j cos zero degrees. So this will be one, one, one. K dot k will see. okay finally so we have everything like this huh? now you can ask question sir what is use of this say what was our main purpose the vectors we don't have mathematics to had a physical quantity which is having magnitude direction we have in 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 your lower lower sections what you have studied how to had a scalar quantities you have studied am i right 
you know how to add a scalar quantities. 2 plus 3, 2 kg plus 3 kg. You know how to add scalar quantities, how to multiply, how to divide. But what to do when, how to add two vector quantities. It means how to add a physical quantity which are a magnitude direction. We don't know mathematics. We were not knowing that vector algebra is what <laughs> I had to bring forward. For that purpose, the unit vectors are something is going to become L plus L naught. So for that, what happened? We are exploring the more about unit vectors. So what is our main target? It's about the vector algebra. Means I am going to get all the things in order. I had to I had to multiply the two vectors. I had to add two vectors. I had to subtract two vectors. So whose help I am going to take? I am going to take the the unit vectors. The unit vectors are something more essential, which will easily help us to solve the vector algebra problems. Therefore, the, therefore, we are trying to explore the unit vectors more here than, than any other thing. That is our main target. Okay, I dot I will be one, J dot J. That, what do you mean by that? They're parallel. Here, what do you mean by that? I dot J, they're perpendicular. So if the dot product of two vectors is zero, what does it mean? They're parallel, you can see. They're along the same direction. If the, perpendicular, if the dot product is zero, <laughs> then they're side to be perpendicular. So what is the conclusion we can make it? If a bar dot b bar, if it's equal to zero, a bar perpendicular to b bar. Similarly, if p bar dot q bar, if it is equal to one, if it is equal to unity altogether, then p bar parallel to q bar. If P not equal to Q, I think it will not become equal to unity. There's no way. <laughs> then we can't use doubt product to <laughs> check whether <laughs> parallel or perpendicular. Okay, I agree this. So this is about the, the unit vectors. Further in the vector algebra, these, these operations are going to help us a lot. After this, I think you might have come across the projection of a vector. Once again, I can take help of. not visible. No, no, okay, it is. Uh, these are the two vectors. Let, let, let me choose two vectors. So vector A bar will be here. And, and the vector B bar will be along Y axis. Let's see this. This will be vector A bar. This is a vector B bar. Or, or, or sorry, uh, the orientation, I'll change it. Can I find out the projection of vector B bar along A bar? The projection. So what do you mean by projections are like here, here? So what we do is like, what is that red color? <laughs> the magnitude of B along A. So here I'm asking to find out the projection of B bar along A bar. Okay, I think definitely when I resolve, I do get two components, one rectangular component, other horizontal vertical component. So this will become B cos theta. This component will be B sin theta. What are B cos theta, B sin theta? They are the rectangular components of the vector B bar. I am just to the component of B bar will be B cos theta. This will be B sin theta. Then, then, okay, let's do one thing. Uh, th there'll be unit vectors, A cap. So what is A cap? So we will define A, A bar is equal to mod of A bar into A cap. How to get the projection of a vector? Projection of a projection of vector B along A bar. So what is our question? Find projection of B, B bar along A bar, sorry. It should be B bar along A bar. Projection of 
v bar that will be a vector quantity so how much it is v cos theta into a cap and we know other side a bar dot b bar equal to a b cos theta and what is theta further angle between a bar and b bar what is further theta theta is angle between a bar and b bar so b cos theta what we can write a bar dot b bar by a and we know what is a cap you can write it as so this will become a cap in place of a cap i am going to replace as a bar by a so finally what do we get the projection this will be a bar dot b bar by vector a bar by a square very easy no what do you mean by sir projection shall we call like a shadow <laughs> i am very simplified way in physics we what's like a, if if there suppose if there's a light falls light beam of light falls on this vector what is this shadow how much of shadow length of b along a that is b cos theta here projection means we have to define like this b cos theta into even this the shadow will have direction is what we are trying to define b cos theta into a cap a cap is a unit vector along a bar a similarly projection of vector b bar a projection of vector b bar along a along a bar we have seen uh, can we also find out the projection of vector a bar along b bar again the same similar method i'll go for projection of a bar <coughs> along b bar it should be b sin theta and uh, there is a projection okay th this we know it huh? okay now we'll go for the rejection what do you mean by rejection <laughs> so one more find rejection of b bar along a bar we have two things and how to bring that what do you mean by sir rejection here b sin theta n cap what is n cap here n cap is what i am defining it a unit vector perpendicular to a bar so first of all what is a cap a cap b cap a cap is what unit vector <coughs> along a bar similarly uh, what is n cap n cap will write it here n cap will be unit vector perpendicular to a bar now find the rejection of b bar along a bar what it should be equal to b sin theta into n cap what what is b sin theta b sin theta from where to bring b cos theta a cap plus b sin theta n cap vector go for resolution of vectors so here before going for this let me go for other one how will you define vector b cos theta a cap b sin theta n cap what is b sin theta n cap b bar minus b cos theta a cap this i'll substitute there <coughs> i'll i'll well shift it let it be everything at one place the discussion okay sorry 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 i could not mute
Uh, let's stop. Find the find the rejection of so th this b bar minus b cos per a cap should be equal to b sin theta n cap. B sin theta n cap. I'll write it down. So this should be equal to b bar minus b cos theta a cap. What is a cap? B bar. A, a cap will be a bar by a. So this will become b bar one minus cos theta a bar by. Okay, this is the value of find the rejection of b bar along a bar. Uh, no, uh, or or this will be little bit, little bit that one. So can we write this b cos theta? As a bar dot b bar, so this will be a little bit odd. I'll try to avoid that theta. So b cos theta. Already we have no a bar dot b bar by a into this is next step. I'll bring this a cap. No, no, simplify it. B bar. This will be a bar dot b bar a. What is a cap? A bar by a. So simplification of this will be b bar minus a bar dot b bar by a square a bar. This is the rejection of b bar along a bar. Okay, projection as well as rejection. So th this is a use of dot product. We can find out. I think in coordinate geometry. This is going to help you a lot. May not be in physics. May not be that uh, essential. Just have an idea. Have an idea. There's a use of this dot product. Okay, we'll go for this one. So once again, what is the basic idea? Uh, the uh, to check two vectors are perpendicular, we use dot product. Then uh, to find out the angle between vectors, to check the given vectors are perpendicular, to find the projection and rejection. So these are the fundamental ideas of dot product. The, so the use of dot product, users of dot product. Once again, users of dot product. So what we do is like first to find. Angle between vectors. Then, this is the one thing. Next, to find component of one vector along the other vector. Third one, to check the given vectors are. Perpendicular. The last one to find projection or rejection of a vector with respect to another vector. Okay, these are the some. Fundamental things for the use of dot product. Hmm. So got it now. So this is okay. We'll we'll discuss a few problems. Uh, if a bar equal to two i cap minus three j cap plus k cap, b bar equal to x i cap plus j cap plus k cap, and if a bar and b bar are mutually perpendicular, find the value of x. Can we can we Find out anything? Yes, definitely. Here, if you see this, a bar dot b bar. So they're telling it's a perpendicular. So I'll proceed like this: a bar dot b bar. This should be equal to two i cap, three j cap plus k cap dot x i cap 
plus j cap plus k cap. So we'll we'll take the dot i dot i. I dot i will be one. So two x. Then two into this one. So what how, how the expansion? The expansion is in fact is like this. Huh? Two into i dot. The, the expansion I'm trying to show it minus three j cap dot plus k cap dot. Okay, this we are going to expand here. So let, let me put this things in bracket. Okay, no, so I dot I, no, no, you see that I dot I should be one, I dot J should be zero, I dot K should be zero. So two is there, it's a scalar. If you want to take from completely from the flower bracket here, then this should become equal to two X. Remaining terms will be zero. I, I need not to write. I dot I one, I dot J will be zero, I dot K will be zero. So I, two I cap dot X I cap will be two X only then. Okay, this is the, first flower bracket will end up this implication minus j dot uh, like a i will be zero j dot j will be one what about the third third one k dot i zero k dot j will be zero then k dot k should be equal to one dot product of two vectors but why zero because i count to the formula a bar this will be a b cos 90 cos 90 should be equal to zero. And then anything multiplied with zero will be, anything multiplied with zero will be zero. So finally we'll end up with the equation zero equal to two X minus three plus one, X equal to one. So getting some pictures, so they like this, some missing term in the vector we can find out that that's what we did. And the value of x. Oh no, given a bar equal to three i cap minus four j cap minus two k cap, b bar equal to i cap plus four j cap minus three cap minus five k cap. Find the angle made by resultant of a bar plus b bar with y axis. Something angle between vectors. So y axis also is having some direction. So then a bar plus b bar will have some direction. Resultant of these two. So first we'll find out the resultant. R bar equal to a bar b bar. What to do that? See, I am bringing the, I'm trying to express the use of unit vectors. So how to add them? We will take care of unit vector here. I think the unit vectors will become so essential. The study of that will really benefit a lot. This will become 2i cap, 4j cap, minus 5k cap. I dot i will be 1, so this will be 6. I dot J will be, means here, I dot I will be one. I dot J will be zero. I dot K will be zero. Then J dot J, sorry, J dot I will be zero. J dot J will be one. And this negative sign is there. So therefore this will become minus of four into Then k dot i zero, <laughs> k dot j zero, k dot k. <coughs> six minus sixteen plus ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So sorry, th th this will be minus twenty. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. 
let's say got saturated huh? addition of vectors no this will be three plus two i cap this will be minus four plus four j cap minus two minus five k cap phi i cap will be zero minus four plus four will be zero This will be minus seven k cap. So this will become five i cap minus k cap. Okay, this is resultant of r bar. Where do that vector vector will lie? Okay, I'll, I'll try to help you with the diagram. Five i cap minus k cap. <laughs> the vector is somewhere here. x minus z plus z axis plus y axis anyway that will be negative negative y axis here so is i asking now what, what is the unit vector along y axis j cap what is the angle between them so in which plane the r1 bar r1 bar lies in x z plane so we should draw a diagram uh, do you suggest us to draw a diagram the, the answer may not be, but we can search mathematically also. We'll do one thing just like it's asking, find the angle made by resultant of A bar with Y axis. We'll just do one thing. R bar, this R1 bar as I did, R1 bar, the resultant of A bar, B bar, dot J cap will do. The, the dot product will see. If it is equal to zero, they're perpendicular. Not equal to zero, there are some angle is there. No necessity of drawing diagram. See, every time we can't draw diagram. So therefore we have brought this the idea of the vectors the two in terms of unique vector so therefore now it will become r1 bar dot j cap so this will become r1 magnitude what is equal to five i cap minus k cap dot j cap five i dot j minus k dot j so i dot j zero k dot j will be zero there will be zero so what do you mean by that therefore r1 is perpendicular to j cap or r1 bar is perpendicular to y axis so therefore what is the angle we should write now what should be our answer angle made by R1 bar so therefore angle made by R1 bar with y axis is 90 degrees okay this is about the today's class today's class hmm? so we, we are high, i was supposed to call cross product uh, okay now time not sufficient so we'll we'll I, i'll wind up till here hmm? next class I'll, I'll i'll finish off the cross product and scalar triple product okay fine hmm? okay now uh, let me end up the class okay okay kids like uh, thank you thank you thank you very much huh? Okay, try to understand all these concepts, the dot product, I think this is something very, very essential for us, like the dot product of two vectors, what is used, like we can use that dot product to find out the angle between two vectors, that's the one thing, primary thing, then to check the two given vectors are perpendicular, to get the <coughs> projection of a vector along other vector, there's a third aspect. Hmm? Then to find out the, I think these are the three major things is what we are able to uh, express about the dot product here. Hmm? Okay, fine. Huh? Okay, see you. Take care. Bye. Huh? We'll meet in the next class. Hmm?